Today I want to take you on a journey to rediscover the power of listening quietly because this one simple habit this quiet discipline has the potential to save your career. Listening is the cheapest education and the most expensive skill because it costs your pride. Let's begin our video by listening and watching to the most important and interesting topic. If you listen to few seconds, you will be getting an idea on what is the sky square test, when we use the sky square test and how it is applied and what is the significance of it. So for instance, if you go to a mobile showroom for purchasing a mobile, so you choose one mobile, so your expected value is one price and after observing on the mobile, so your observed price will be one. So how this chi square is going to test you? So the test chi square test is used whether the observed and the expected values are significant or not. So this is the thing which is going to happen with the chi square test. So the difference or the variation between the expected value and the observed value. So let's get into the today's video. It is rightly from the textbook. I'll explain you each and every point from the textbook so that you will be getting a clarity and you can write with your own vocabulary. When the chi-square test is asked for a theory question, so you can apply all these points here. When a fair coin is tossed 100 times, see here for 100 times when a fair coin is tossed, the theoretical considerations leads to leads us to expect 50 heads and 50 tails. The, so the theory is expecting 50 heads and 50 tails. But in practice, these results are rarely achieved. That is, the results obtained in the experiment do not agree exactly with the theoretical results. So theory says something and our expectations say something, our observed values say something. See here, the magnitude of the discrepancy between the theory and the and the observations are given by the quantity chi-square. See here, a Greek letter pronounced as chi or chi as it depends upon your uh, pronunciation. Chi-square. If chi is zero, see here, the observed and the expected frequency completely coincides. When chi is zero, see here, our observed value and the expected value completely are same. As the chi-square increases the discrepancy between the observed and the theoretical frequency increases thus chi square efforts a measure of the correspondence between the theory and the observations see here chi square is a measure of the correspondence between the theory value and the observed value see this is what is chi square so what is the definition of this see here if the set of events e a1 a2 a3 and so on a n are observed to occur with the frequencies O1, O2, O3 and so on, O1 respectively and according to the probability rules A1, A2, A3 and so on, AN are expected to occur. See here, these are all the expected values with the frequency E1, E2, E3 and so on, EN respectively with O1, O2, O3 and so on, O1 are the observed frequencies. So here E1, E2, E3 are the expected frequencies, E1, E2, E3 are called the expected frequencies. These are the observed frequencies and these are the expected frequencies. If OI is the set of observed frequencies and EI are the corresponding expected frequencies, then this chi square is defined as the most important formula here is defined as chi square is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to 1 OI minus II whole square by EI with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So this also plays a vital role, n minus 1 degrees of freedom. See here, chi square is used to test whether the difference between the observed and the expected frequencies are significant. So this chi square is so important that it is the test whether the differences between the observed value and the expected value are significant or not. Note. So here is a small note. So this is the theory part here. So we, you have to understand here. So here according to the theory we need 50 heads and 50 tails. So but in practice so it may happen or it may not happen. The difference between the expected value and the observed value is calculated using a quantity that is chi square. This is a Greek letter. And if chi is equal to 0 here, then the expected value and the observed value, theoretical value coincides. If it increases, so the variation also increases. The chi-square efforts, the measure of the correspondence between the theory and the observations. So this is the thing which chi-square plays. 
and the definition is also very very important the set of events so how many events are there a1 a2 a3 and so on a and events are there and here the expected frequencies are even a2 e3 and so on en and the observed frequency are o1 o2 o3 and so on on so here the chi square test is defined as chi square is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to i the difference between the observed and the expected value by ei with n minus 1 degrees of freedom so i'll tell you what is the degrees of freedom and i'll show you the table of values also so here is a note if the data is a is given in a series n number of de degrees of freedom so here the degrees of freedom is n minus 1 usually so for in case of binomial distribution degrees of freedom is n minus 1 in case of poisson distribution the degrees of freedom is n minus 2 in case of normal distribution the degrees of freedom is n minus 3 so here the chi square distribution is an important continuous probability distribution and it is used in both large and small tests in chi square test Chi-square distribution is mainly used to test the goodness of it, to test the independence of attributes, to test if the population has a specified values of the variance sigma. We shall discuss these tests one by one as the applications of chi-square distributions. So here are the applications. Chi-square test as the test of goodness of it. See here, let me explain you. We use this test to to decide whether the discrepancy between the theory and the experiment are significant or not that is to test whether the difference between the theory theoretical and the observed values can be attributed to to chance or not in other words if the two curves the observed frequency see here in other words if the two curves that is the observed frequency curve and the expected frequency curve are drawn then the chi-square statistics may be used to determine whether the two curves so drawn are fitted good or not. So this chi-square statistics may be used to determine whether the two curves so drawn are fitted good or not. Thus, the term goodness of fit is used to test the, the concordance of the fitness of the two curves. In this case, we have only one variable. See here, the number of degrees of freedom V is equal to here N minus 1. So, as usual, we have five steps here. Every time we go with the null hypothesis H0. So, here that is there is no significance difference between the observed value and the correspondence value. And the next one here, the, the second point here is alternate hypothesis H1. That is the above difference is significant. And next one is the test statistics here. The test of 1, 2, 3. The test statistics formula is also so important. Chi square value is nothing but sigma i is equal to 1 to n observed value minus expected value whole square by ei so here and after that one here there is a conclusion part and here also assume that h0 is true the test statistics follows the square distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom so i'll show you the table here and the conclusion part is also very clear if the calculated value chi square is greater than the table value at alpha level at alpha level the null hypothesis rejected if the calculated value is greater than the table value we reject or else we can accept the chi square test enables us to ascertain how well the theoretical distribution such as binomial points or normal etc fit the distribution obtained from the sample distribution see let me show you the table values also so these are also ready here as the chi square with the critical values of chi square distribution with the v degrees of freedom so these are all the values so which i am going to calculate so here the calculated value and this is the observed value see here this these are all the table values if the calculated value is less than the table value we accept if the calculated value is greater than this table value so we are going to reject and this is the table for chi square critical values see hope you guys understand see one point after other point i have explained you so you can make your own theory out of this textbook so if you don't have textbook also you no need to carry textbook so here the whole videos i'm going to explain from the textbook itself and you can write your own notes and you can uh, display whatever it is asked about the chi-square test theory part so the theory is vividly given explained and hope you all guys understand it is very very simple that is the difference the test between the observed value and the expected value that's it so don't go deep into the subject so here if you learn the concept you can frame all the sentences and you can write this theory part and hope you'll get a good score 
if it is asked for a chi square test of significance or test of goodness of it thank you so much for watching if you really like you know what to do please pass it on to as many friends as you can so those who are needed the most and that is the greatest help needed to this channel and raise your thumb pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel and stay connected and i'll be uploading so many problems related to this series and there will be four three or uh, four videos and i'll be uploading very very soon so that you will be getting a uh, clarity on chi square test problems and everything the most important repeated questions only i'll select and directly from the textbook i'll explain you so that you will be getting a confidence that you are learning the syllabus or learning the subject thank you so much for staying